today we're going to go for a bit of a Rusa Deer and Sandbar Deer hunt because in the most recent update, I think that's the last thing we've not gone over. They basically got new antlers or improved antlers and I want to take a look at them and see what they look like. And just in general go for a bit of a hunt here on Pickabean Bay. I'm sure we'll shoot some other stuff as we go along, but I want to mainly focus on the deer and kind of taking a look at what the antlers look like. Alright, well, that's not exactly what we're looking for, but I pretty much went through this entire south area. And I had one Rusa buck track. You can see where I went back and tried to get him, but they were just kind of like going a couple of different directions and I could not find it. So I guess we're going to go get that water buffalo. And then we'll try continuing looking for the deer. But I don't know that we got the best spawn for them. So he's only up to 265, which means he's not huge. But he's got like the orange underbelly and stuff, which I like. So he should be... Yeah, he's going to charge us. And I brought the Pulsar because it's got like the fastest draw. So specifically for stuff like this. And I'm assuming... We can just do that. And hopefully... Oh, wow. That one might be bigger. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's up to 245, so I guess he probably isn't. But we might go get that, too. But yeah, 242 on this guy, so almost for sure. The other one's not bigger. But, uh... I mean, if there's not going to be any deer, I guess we'll go follow that anyway. Well, that was a weird place for him to stop. Oh, I'm glad that I got the bow out as quickly as I did. But uh, if he ever decides to actually come over here, I assume he will in a second, because he's been trying to charge for a minute already. There you go. Okay, so had to get that. I mean, we're going to take anything good we see while we're here. But I did come across a Rusa buck track. I don't remember exactly what the other score was, but that's real close. Uh, so we're going to go back here, and we're just going to track that Rusa because I feel like there's not a lot on the map, and at least we can hopefully find one doing it that way. That might be a halfway decent Rusa. Yeah, he's 145 to 195, so worth the track for sure. And luckily, they're not a huge pain. So the 9.3 is way overpowered. <laughs> we could definitely just take that shot and drop him. And, uh, finally, more than a half hour into this hunt, we actually killed a Rusa deer, but we get to kind of look at the, uh, sort of bigger antler, uh, variation for them. So we'll just take a look at what he scores and go into trophy shot mode, but, I mean, that also works, <laughs> shooting through the spine in the next, that's a 150, which is definitely not huge, but I would say a good bit above average. So let's just get him flipped around here. So to be honest, I don't know what the old antlers looked like, but I definitely think these look good. Maybe like they kind of improved the frame because I feel like the main beam, the way that they sort of go, go out and then sort of curl back, I think that's new. And it's got like a lot more realistic looking sort of antler structure to me anyway. But yeah, I don't know exactly what's been improved. I just know that I actually do quite like the look of these, but yeah, I don't think I'm actually going to take a trophy shot of that. It is a good one, but not a huge one. And finally, we actually got one, so I guess we'll kind of hang out in this area for a while and see if there's any more to get. Apparently this is going to happen, because I didn't know that guy was there. But, uh, basically, I decided to fast travel and, like, run this river part. And the reason is, I just figured I might as well go somewhere I can see well. Because I'm not finding them anyway. And as long as I can cover more ground, maybe there's a better chance we can actually get some. But the good news is, we're actually in a completely new area where I haven't spooked everything yet. There's a lot of big water buffalo out here. That one's up to 260, so maybe he'll actually beat the other one. This is just not a good Rusa or Sandbar deer spawn. Like, a lot of times you can run this river and see them on the sides. It just is not happening today. But hopefully we can keep running this. Maybe we'll actually find some the further down we go. But not going to pass up a good water buffalo. If he's going to be right here in front of us, we're going to go for it. So let me make sure I have an arrow. Hi. 
Okay. <laughs> I thought he might actually charge, but whatever. Can work that way too. And 221, so he's just definitely the smallest of the ones we shot so far. Alright, that's a rooster deer. And it's actually a buck, so thank goodness. Just fast travel to this tent to try to do something different. And hopefully, maybe we're in an area where more than one buck lives, so at least that's a good sign. Okay, there's a, I think, sandbar deer right there. Pretty sure that's a sandbar. Yeah, it has to be. Those are way different antlers, and I think those look a lot better, too. And is that another sandbar? Yeah, he's got, like, a way fatter face. But, um, all right. Didn't expect that. I wonder if we can get away with a bow shot on this guy. Sandbar are tough. Like, I'm not even sure that we can drop him. What the heck? I can hear another one, but... We'll go ahead and use the sandbar scent and just try to get them coming this way. But we're really not in a good spot here. Good news is, though, the bigger one's going to get here first. So he's at 30. Maybe we can get away with this. He sees us. All right, not a drop shot, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a lung. And they're kind of running that way, so maybe we're good. The rooster was a little further right. That'd be really nice if we can end up getting both. But I just hope we actually got a lung, because, again, sandbar deer are very tough. And if that's not a lung, he's going to run for forever. And even, quite honestly, if it is a lung, he's going to run for forever. But our rooster is still down there. Can't see him yet. I think probably I'll just take a gunshot at him, because... We already have some tracking to do. Though I guess we haven't spooked this area too bad, and they're a lot easier to drop with a bow, so we'll see. I think he sees us, and he actually might be decent too. Yep, he definitely was. Well, go figure. Fast travel up here, and that's where all the big ones are, but... Yeah, um... Don't think we were getting a bow shot at that guy. That's not exactly the way I wanted to do that, but... It works. That guy might be really good. Decent weight on him. 169, that's a pretty good one. Definitely a uh, pretty good improvement over what we shot earlier. And yeah, like you can just see the actual like antler structure and the beam structure. I think that must be what's improved because it's definitely the case with the sandbar deer. And that's what makes me think it's the case with these as well. And we'll go and hopefully find that sandbar now. I wish... I had actually found his track before we went and shot this guy, but we should be able to figure out where he was standing. And it was lungs and heart, so he won't be too far. But yeah, I know for sure with the sandbar deer, like their antlers used to be almost kind of like just a slight curve and they went straight up. Like these ones actually had like a structure where they went back and then up the same as kind of like the rusa deer. And I like that. I think that's good. Oh, he actually died right here too. Well, nice. Okay, so that was lung liver. That makes sense. He's 198, which is pretty good. And I just want to kind of look at the, like I said, the structure of the antlers. Because they didn't used to have that kind of like bend in them. That's at least good enough for me to show you with my mouse like what I mean. Before they sort of would just go up and around like this. And now there's like an actual structure where they go back and then up. The only thing, I wish these forks on top were a little bigger, because this is generally, as far as I can tell, the case with most sandbar deer. They're kind of a small fork, and in real life, they're generally a lot bigger, so that's the only thing I don't love with the sandbar. I really like the Rusa, though. Those, I, I think, they did a really good job with, but that was good to come up here and actually find what we were looking for. I don't know if that's the one that I'm tracking, but it is a buck, and we might as well go for it. He's definitely not very big, but we can actually see... A different antler shape. To be honest, I thought those would be what we were running running into like the entire video. The fact that we got two pretty decent ones is kind of a huge surprise to me. And actually that was the one I was tracking so I'm glad I saw that. And he's not too special, just 110. So I would end at that. I just saw he was like the highest weight of any of the rooster deer we shot so far. 
But um, anyway, I would end at that, but I actually have one more Rusa and one more Sandbar that I kind of recorded before this. One of them was the Sandbar deer that we were tracking on the Twitch stream, and I said I'd actually have it in a video, so I finally did go and find that, and he was pretty decent. I actually, at this point, don't remember the score, but of course, you can see him on the screen there. And uh, he was pretty good. I think he was somewhere in the area of 17th or 18th on the leaderboard. When I shot him, he's probably dropped a few places by now, but he was a good one. And I was just happy like that we shot that 198 a bit ago, because I got to kind of explain sort of what I see with the sandbar antlers and the new sort of frame to them. And you can see that just with this guy as well. And his forks, if anything, are a little smaller. And that's kind of what I was talking about. I wish those were just a bit bigger. But then uh, last night I decided to go look for some Rusa deer because, to be honest, I did not expect to kill any decent ones during this video. And I found another good one. So after he was hiding behind a tree for a bit, we got him. And he was actually bigger than anything we got in this video. He is a 174, which I think also was right around 18th on the leaderboard when I shot him. So a couple of pretty decent ones. I figured I'd have those in case we didn't actually get anything good in this video. But to be honest, I was quite happy with what we did get. And yeah, I think overall the improvements to the antlers are good. I don't know much about Rusa deer in real life, and I just looked up Sandbar to have an idea of what they look like. I think it is an improvement, but I don't think they look as good as the Rusa do. I think they could probably do with a little more tweaking, but yeah. Overall, I'm happy with it. As I said in the beginning, I'm just happy to see Classic getting some love and getting some stuff updated. I think it's a really good thing for the game. So anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.